new heavens and new earth. Are, you mean yes or no, or what are they like, or Tom? Okay. Oh, that is so kind of him, because I can just go forever when you get anything prophetic. There is a new heaven and a new earth. You can read about it in Revelation 21, and I'll pick up there, Tom, next time. But Revelation 21 tells us something interesting that I want you to go home and think about. There are two words for new in the, in the New Testament. There's new of the same kind. There's new of a different kind. If I have a favorite pair of shoes, I love these shoes. This is the third new pair of the exact same pair of shoes. I like them so much that I get exactly the same, only ones that the heels aren't worn off and the leather's not worn out. So they're new of the same kind. And so when I say I'm getting new shoes, you say, well, they look exactly the same. They're not the same shoes, but they look exactly the same. The new heavens is the word for new of the same kind. The best thing to know about the new heavens and the new earth is you already know what it's going to be like. It's going to be like the best of everything in this world. Um, we, we were with Estelle, and Estelle said, you know what, uh, down in Honduras, she said, did you know if you stick your head in the water and look through my little mask here, she said, you'll see the second most beautiful reef in the world. I said, really? Honduras has, off its coast, the second largest reef with sea creatures. And so I put the mask on and I looked in, and I couldn't believe it. And I, and I stuck my head under, and the first time I've ever seen in my life, I saw a tornado of fish. There is this trench that goes down. There must have been 100,000, 200,000 of them and they were swimming like this, like a tornado. They were just swimming as fast as they could like this, going down. And I just watched that, and I thought, wow. Do you know what heaven's going to be like? It's going to be like the beauty, the perfection of anything you like here. Like if you ever watched the Planet Earth BBC series, and it talks about how incredible the Earth is. When you get to heaven, I can assure you that the sky is going to be not green. It's not going to look like Alderaan, you know, in science fiction. There aren't going to be, you know, two suns. You know, it's the, the sky is going to look like the sky. The water is going to look like the water. The plants are going to look like the water because the heaven that we're going to is exactly like earth, only it's new, but it's the same. It's not new, different. It's not like God's going to have blue grass. You've got to keep asking what that stuff is. It's new of the same, and the same with the earth. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. And you say, well, how can an 8,000 mile in diameter, that's the diameter of the earth, how can it have a 1,200 mile cube sitting on it? Because that's the new Jerusalem, heaven. Coming down out of heaven, the new Jerusalem is 1,200 miles by 1,200 by 1,200 by 1,200, and we live in that thing. That's where our home is, in the new Jerusalem. But it comes down to earth. Why do we think it can't sit on a revolving, 1,000 mile an hour revolving planet? Because the God who created it put physical laws in that said a 1,200 mile cube can't sit on an 8,000 mile diameter, you know, spinning globe. But who wrote physics? God. So he's going to make it work. And so there is a lot of stuff, Mr. Tibble, that I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand how many animals are in heaven. The only ones we're sure of are horses, not dogs. Dogs are outside heaven, you dog lovers. It says that in Revelation 21, outside are dogs. But uh, we will pick up there, and uh, that was a joke, you know. But, um, 